Hello, this is Austin Desmond with Horizon Solutions. Today we'll be discussing safe mounting distance formulas, as well as the resulting difference between a safety rated PLC solution and a safety rated relay solution. When renovating older machinery and creating new machines, devices such as light curtains, area scanners, and other safety present sensing devices may be necessary. The purpose of all of these devices is to safely stop a hazard by bringing it to a safe state prior to an operator reaching it. Although safely stopping hazardous portions of machinery to protect the safety of workers should always be a priority, an often overlooked but extremely critical component to the equation is the time it takes from a device being triggered to the machine reaching a safe state. For this purpose today, we will be highlighting the differences in safe stopping distance between safety relay and a safety rated PLC as the control system. Here we have the equation for creating the safe minimum mounting distance according to the ANSI standards. DS is the minimum safe distance between the safeguarding device and the hazard itself. K is the speed constant, given as 63 inches per second according to the standards, and this is for the average hand or arm speed. TS is the total machine stopping time, where TC represents the control system stopping time or response time, and TR is the response time of the safeguarding device itself, as well as any interface it may have. DPF or depth penetration factor is the amount of penetration through the safeguarding device's sensing field that may occur before the stop issue is actually signaled. The main reason for going through these calculations today is to highlight the difference in safe mounting distance when looking at different control systems. Today we're going to focus on a relay solution and a safety PLC solution. I don't want to get too far into the math. But I do want to say that for both calculations, the only major factor that we're going to be looking at changing today is TC. Therein, for both solutions, TS is the time from when the output changes state and when the machine actually comes to a complete stop. For this example, we're using a 15 millisecond reaction time, TR, for the light curtain. The depth penetration factor was calculated using ANSI standards. This will be the same for both situations. However, for the relay, the response time of the relay itself is 40 milliseconds from the change of input to the change of output. Now, using the Rockwell Automation provided Guard Logics Reaction Time tool, a range of 20 to 72 milliseconds, considering no faults, is found as the reaction time. This is a quick snapshot of that tool. As you can see, considering a single fault, 82 millisecond reaction time. Considering multiple faults, which would be worst case scenario, you have a 112 millisecond response time. What this all really means is that with the relay solution, you could mount the light curtain 18 inches from the hazard. The PLC hazard would have to be more than 20 and a half inches away from the light curtain. This being said, that was calculated using a single fault tolerant. And when this calculation is typically done, it is done at worst case scenario, which would increase the safe mounting distance of the PLC solution to 23 inches, a full five inches farther away than the relay. This has been Austin Desmond with Horizon Solutions. Thanks for taking the time to watch today. Links for a lot of what have been shown are below. If you have any questions, my contact information is also below. Thank you and have a great day.